Hi, I'm Sarah Morge here with some current headlines. The Westchester hospitalization rate continues to drop, according to County Executive George Latimer. Lowe had reported that for the first time in 10 days, the amount of active cases of COVID-19 was below 10,000. However, the virus continues to cause death in the area. With the interruption of COVID-19 during the semester and the current financial impact students and families are facing, the Residential Life and Housing Office is allowing a delay in housing deposits. The Pace Chronicle reports that the delay lasts until June 1st and will still allow students to participate in roommate selection. If needed, Residential Life will work with students who are dealing with financial issues on a case-by-case -case basis. Students must have their decision regarding the pass-fail option for the spring 2020 semester by Monday, April 27th. During the virtual town hall, Assistant Vice President for Student Success Sue Maxim stated that the decision should not be taken lightly. The university suggests meeting with advisors as the decision can impact financial aid, academic scholarship, and dean's list eligibility. COVID-19 is not only impacting the financial ability of families and local businesses. Many say this could be the final straw for universities. Prior to COVID-19, many colleges were concerned about their future due to the predicted drop in enrollment. Now the financial strain of the virus may cause colleges to close down sooner rather than later. New York saw the College of New Rochelle file for bankruptcy just last year. For many businesses, government officials, and colleges, the question remains about what fall 2020 will look like. A California university has already moved their semester online, while Boston University has also stated plans for potential remote learning. PACE is creating multiple contingency plans to follow through with the direction from the CDC and government. However, as of now, the plan is for the semester to be in person. Once again, I'm Sarah Morge. Stay safe and healthy, and for more news, visit PaceChronicle.com.